Hey guys, it's Rosalind and welcome back to Sunhaven. I'm so excited to get back to this game. I cannot wait to see new things and I feel like we barely scratched the surface in episode one. I am so excited to see you back and this time we're gonna try without the webcam just to see if it makes the experience a little bit better. So you guys let me know down in the comments if you like webcam or you want me to skip it for this series and we will do whatever you guys think is best. Let's see, we've got stuff we need to water already. Looks like our crops are growing quite well, but we didn't do a, a whole lot in the first episode other than talk to people. I feel like we didn't clear out our farm very well, and I didn't even check out what this crafting table does over here beside our house. So I'm gonna check that out today. Let's get our water refilled. Oh, and looks like Lucia's down here and Peter? Interesting. Maybe he's gonna give us a fishing rod. That would be so cool. I would love to start fishing and see how it compares to Stardew Valley's fishing, which is so hard. If you're good at Stardew Valley fishing, you're <laughs> really good. <laughs> Let's see what they're up to today. Lucia! Rise and shine, Rosalind. Hope you don't mind me waiting here. Hey, it looks like your farm is already shaping up. Anyway, it's time to plan your first visit to Dragon's Meat. Are you ready to meet Ilios? Dra Dragon's Meat. That's meat with, with two E's. It's where Ilios lives on the mountaintop. New neighbors in Sunhaven make the trek to get Ilios' blessing as a kind of rite of passage. Oh, what do I need to do? The ascent to Dragon's Meat can be dangerous. I'll escort you up the mountain myself. Just meet me in front of Town Hall tomorrow at 10 and we'll be on our way. All right, so we've already got a plan for tomorrow. The Sun Dragon's Protection. Ooh, nine parts of this quest. And what's up with Peter? Oi! Done a lot of fishing with your rod and reel yet? I haven't done much fishing. Oh yeah? Well, at any rate, I came over here to tell you about a new way of using your farmland. Since you have your own patch of land, you can harvest from your waters using a small fishing net. It's an entirely passive way of bringing in fish. You'll need this to start. This is a fishing net, if you couldn't tell. You can cast this out into the waters around your farm. It's an entirely passive way of harvesting fish. Though you'll also need a permit. Don't worry, I've actually brought you in. Why do I need a permit to fish with a net? It's an efficient way of harvesting fish. So effective that it has to be regulated, so no one is overfishing. Oh. I like that they included that, because that is a big problem that, that some areas face nowadays is overfishing. Once you activate that permit, all you have to do is stand next to the water and use the net. It's just like you would with your fishing rod. After that, just forget about it. Oh, so can I visit you to buy more nets or a better license? Yep, it might seem like a lot to take in, but you'll get the hang of it in no time. Remember, you can only deploy nets on your farm. Other than that, feel free to pop into my shop if you ever want to upgrade. That's all I needed to tell you, good luck. Oh, okay. Well, we don't have a fishing rod yet. Are we supposed to have, are we supposed to have a fishing rod? We'll, we'll figure that out, I'm sure. But he's given us a nice little net. Maybe we should just throw it right here. Let's see. Left click in water to place. Okay, there it be. And we've got our permit right click to use. I right clicked it and it disappeared. So I must be allowed to fish now. Let's take some time and get our farm cleared out, get some of these trees cut down and some rocks destroyed. Hmm, it looks like we have access to a river on the far left side of our farm. That's cool. I don't see any fish though. Maybe they're gonna add something here in the future. Oh, it looks like we've got a beach area. Oh, and stuff to pick up. Seaweed. Some seashells, looks like these are clams. Can we get rid of the driftwood? <gasps> we can, cool. And sand dollars. Cool beans. Oh, we've got a bridge over here that's out. Repair broken bridge for 20 wood planks. Ooh, okay. Have to keep that in mind. Looks like there's a treasure chest over there and more to explore. I bet you that crafting table is going to be able to teach us how to make some wood planks. Then our tree here. A spider web? What happens if I cut this tree down? Are we going to get a spider web? 
Silk, we got silk, how cool. Ah, looks like we caught a fish. Let's check our net. We got fish, one. Ah, oh, what do we get? A Dorado, very nice. I wanna check out this crafting table. Oh, whoa. Okay, <laughs> we definitely have a lot of things to make. An anvil, furnace, cooking pot, loom, we can make chests, more fishing nets, how cool. Fertilizer, all right. Well, to get us started, let's just make some planks. And we needed 20 for the bridge down there. So we'll just make 42 of them. Let's see what happens. And it's 11 o'clock and we don't wanna pass out this time. So I am headed to bed and hopefully that'll be done by the time morning comes. So let's hit the hay. All right. Sunny 6 a.m. Let's see. Ooh. All of our stuff popped. And we've got our wood planks. Yay! So is this stuff ready to harvest? Should I sight them? Oh, yeah! Okay, so wheat we, we do with with the scythe, okay. And I don't know if these potatoes are ready or not. They look like maybe they're in the flowering stage, so we should probably just water them. I'm sure they would bring up a button if they were ready to go, right? So let's just give everything else a water here. And while cleaning up the farm, we picked up some seeds from cutting the grass. So let's go ahead and replant those. I've got 29 of them. Oh, looks like we have to retill the dirt as well, okay. So the land is cleared, but it's not cultivated. All right, everything's all watered. We'll refill our watering can. Looks like we caught a fish again. A fish. What did we get this time? A blue tang. Oh, cool. Let's go ahead and throw some stuff in our shipping bin. A Dorado, some sand dollars. Looks like, oh, we've got a quality system. So I've got some rare, the red ones and the green ones are normal. Let's go ahead and throw those in. Can I like separate these out? Oh, I cool. I sure can. Let's keep eight for ourselves. Silk, let's throw that in. We need the apples for the snackaroon. Snackaroon, snackaroon, that's up here. So I'm gonna hold on to those. Let's go ahead into town. It's 9.50, we're gonna miss our appointment with Lucia. Oh, I'm a little late. <laughs> there she is. Sorry, Lucia, we should have left a little earlier. You ready to go? Yep. Sun Dragon's protection. This is it, Ilios is just ahead. I'm afraid I can't go with you. It has to be entirely your own choice. Good luck, Rose. I'll be here when you're done. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, he's massive. I have been waiting for you, Rosalind. It is fortunate that Lucia brought you here unharmed. I am Ilios, the Sun Dragon and Guardian of Sunhaven. Sunhaven is an enduring community with a bountiful future. I carry the responsibility of preserving the Commonwealth here. It is not a duty I take lightly. As Guardian, I prefer to see each new arrival myself. Rosalind, I require a glimpse of your innermost self. Clear your mind, respond only with purest truth. For whom do you live your life? Ooh, questions. You know, had you asked me a couple years ago, I would say my family. But I think I'm starting to lean towards myself. Yourself, I see. Indeed, every tree in the forest must shift itself out of the dirt. Rosalind, where do you feel the strongest natural connection? A river. Absolutely. What sets your heart alight? Living in the moment. How curious. Rosalind, there is power within you. Your energy is almost familiar. Were I blind, I would surely think a young dragon stood before me. I cannot say what this means for your fate, but this power will only grow. Mind your ways. Explore your connection with this magic and nurture yourself. And Rosalind, your powers will undoubtedly have consequences on our world. Though this responsibility falls only on you, remember that you are not alone. Do not alienate yourself from your neighbors. They will support you when you falter. I grant you my blessing, Rosalind. You now have access to the great power that resides within you but you must hone your skills before continuing on your journey. When the time is right, I will reach out to guide you. As you leave this place, you enter your new life. Walk confidently toward your fortune, Rosalind. Ooh, bonus.
bonus mana, combat XP, and then we can choose exploration XP or coins. I'm going to go coins since we are seem seeming to be a little bit low on coins. All right. And looks like we've got a ton of skill points. Oh my goodness, we do. From clearing our land and from Elios here. Let's see. I have the opportunity to get air skip, but it looks like this bottom one, I don't, there's nothing in this first one, maybe? Huh, gold getter. Money bags have a 10% chance to give a thousand gold. Oh, we haven't come across a money bag yet. Let's do air skip. Ooh, we've got two to spend. And let's do the, the gold getter one. Ooh, okay. And then farming. We did retaining soil last time. Let's do farmer's market this time. So that's plus five extra gold per crop sold. And then mining. Nodes drop two extra stone or gain 120 bonus gold per day. Hmm. Let's do savings. And then lastly, combat. So we've got magic, swordsmanship, ranged, and then looks like defense. Unlock the fireball spell. Costs five mana. Burn damage for three seconds. Increase swing speed with all melee weapons and tools by 10%. Increase damage by one to three times, or one to three damage rather, not times. And then padded armor, increase armor by four. Ooh, you know what? I think I'm going to go with agility just because it works for both weapons and tools. I think that's a nice heavy hitter. Lucia is going to take us right back to town, I think. You're a mage. I thought I felt some magical energy in you when we first met, but now that energy is bursting from you. Congratulations. Elios gave me my blessing when I was much younger, but I know it can be a lot to take in. I'm always around to talk if you're feeling unsure about your magic or anything else. For now, how about we head back home? Yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is someone we haven't met. Kara, hello there. You're the new neighbor. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Pod's mother. Ah, I'm glad that old farm has someone to care for it now. It used to be so beautiful. So she's Pod and this kid's... Oh, that's Pod. Can you help me make a necklace? Mama likes seashells. I want to make a necklace with seashells and fishing string. I have the string, but I found it in the garbage. I'm not allowed on the beach at my own, but I need seashells. Bring me five so I can make a really good necklace, please. I can't wait. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll definitely help him out. So, can we touch the water again to get more mana? It doesn't seem like it, okay. Albert and Judith. Who's that? Say, I don't recognize your face. My name's Rosalind, I'm the new farmer. That's right, Lucia told us there was someone moving in. It's good to meet you, my name is Judith. And Albert, are you new neighbor? Have I forgotten your name? <laughs> I'm sure he's a big kidder. I'm delighted to meet you. Call me Albert, because that's my name. <laughs> sure. Raimi. Hey, neighbor. I'll introduce myself. I'm Raimi. People might tell you I'm the toughest guy in town. That's just what people say. Good meeting you. Rosalind, that's right. You're the farmer we've been expecting. I really needed somebody to clean up that old farm. Great to have you. So meeting even more new people today. This is crazy. I wanted to see if I could go into the record store, the music shop here. Oh, this is cozy. Arvel. Hello, don't think we've met. Welcome to the music shop. Oh, so you can play different music. Oh, how cool. Great to meet you. Take your time and find something you like. Oh, Baines. All right, and it looks like Claude works with him. Interesting. All right. I see there's something on the board down here for us to check out. Let's see if there's a quest that's doable. Hi, Wornhart. Settling in all right, are we? What's on your mind? You're the only doctor? Don't worry, I'm well equipped to take care of this town. Besides, almost everyone here is in great health. It's honestly a little boring for me, but I'd much rather be bored than stressed. More people could use a little boredom in their life. <laughs> I agree completely. I always feel better after slowing down and taking a breath. Sunhaven has let me do that more than ever before. You lived here your whole life? Nah, I relocated from the Southern Islands just about a year ago. The South is great, but I'm lucky to be here. Sunhaven has been really good for me. I'll tell you what I do miss, the fruit. Fruit trees grow all over the place down here. I used to pick a free breakfast while walking to work every day. One less thing to worry about, you know? He's so cool. I really like him. Okay, Warnhart likes apples. All right, and Hopi 
I want coal so Pod and I can draw on each other. <laughs> Absolutely, Toki. I can do that. That's fantastic. Okay. I think they were headed up to the library, so I'm going to head that way and see if I can just go ahead and deliver that straight, <laughs> straight away. Very important quest here to deliver some coal so that Pod and Toby can draw on each other. <laughs> coal! I'm gonna draw pretend tattoos all over Pod. Here, you can have this cool rock. Awesome! And let's do mining XP since he's gonna give us some exploration XP. Emma has something to say. I need your help. What's wrong? I spilled Liam's big bag of flour on the way home and now he needs to go buy more. I feel so bad. Can you bring me five flour to surprise Liam? If you do, you'll be my favorite. Oh, okay. We'll help out. Oh, I know that feeling of, of feeling so bad for spilling something that wasn't yours or making a big mess. I, as a kid, I was Butterfingers all the time. My dad still makes fun of me for dropping a gallon of milk in the middle of the kitchen and it exploding. He will not let me live it down. So I absolutely understand. <laughs> All right. So we have Warnheart's supplies already. If we look at our quest here. Oh, and Peter says he wants something. Hey, farmer, you headed by the library? Why? Amanda left her book in my boat. I don't really have time to return it, but I know she loves her books. I was hoping you to return it. Absolutely. We can definitely do that. But let's go down here and see if we can... Well, Warnheart's probably not in his house he's probably at the hospital right so let's go up here and all the way back at your desk buddy you are not actually you're not oh i thought i had him figured out nope i do not let's see let's take a look at our map is he out he is let's go chase him down here run hard the logs I needed? After the hospital, we'll never run out of tongue depressed it again. <laughs> May have gone a bit overboard asking for so many logs. Oh well, thanks for coming through. No problem. Okay, I thought he wanted an apple. He wanted logs. Okay, we're gonna go for the coins this time. Oh, so I see the hearts up here. Does that mean we have one and a little bit of hearts with Wernheart? That's cool. We gotta run up to the library again. We need five clams. We don't know how to make flour yet, but, you know, we'll get there. <laughs> I'm sure the crafting table will teach us how to make something. Is this Anne over here? I have a hard time recognizing characters from the back. Yeah! Just looking to chat. What's not, not, to, not to like? What's not to like? Good weather means a lot of foot traffic and reputation as a trading hub sure doesn't hurt business. Plus, I can enjoy the sunshine when business is slow can appreciate that. Hey, you gotta go where the money is. You sound like you really get it. I look forward to seeing you around town, and I mean that in every sense. I don't feel like we've been properly introduced. Whoops, that's the, not the first time that's happened. I'm Anne, the best merchant in Sunhaven, and don't let anybody tell you different. You're from here originally? Farther west. I've traveled a lot for work. Every big city is the same. Same people, same dirty streets. Same, same, same. Then I heard about Sunhaven and thought, that sounds different. It was a risk. But a risk often leads to reward, for me, anyway. Cool. I like her story. I like that not everyone here is, you know, homegrown from Sunhaven. It's kind of a mishmash of folks from all over the place, which is fantastic. I love that, that people are bringing their experience from all walks of life into a town that's kind of like brand new. It feels established, but it also feels new which is so nice. Oh, we needed to go to the library and here I am walking right past it. Let's turn in this book since Amanda is very, feels very strongly about her books. Oh no, did Peter ask you to return this? This man knows nothing about discretion. Air farmer, so hopefully some gold will earn your discretion. I, did, we, I, don't, I really don't mind. I'm gonna take the mining experience this time because we haven't been mining yet. That's something that we're gonna have to get on and get doing. Let's go back to the farm. Oh, <laughs> Peter, what can I do? Spending some time to ask about... Hey there, farmer, spending some time with the sea today? I have to ask about the crab. On his hat, you mean Shelby. That's an adorable name. She's the finest lady I ever sailed with. I was shipwrecked once and washed ashore. She pinched me right on the cheeks and woke me up before the tide swept me out again. She's my savior and my first mate. Oh, what 
what's your opinion on Weathergate? I don't know what Weathergate is, so I'm not gonna ask him about that quite yet. I'm sure we will learn what all these things are. Hmm. Another new person. Giuseppe. Giuseppe? Heard we were getting a new neighbor. Welcome to Sunhaven. My name's Giuseppe. What an interesting name. You think so? Come from a town on the border of the northern and eastern regions. It's pretty standard. Ah, okay. Do they have a puppy? A good home for a good dog? Oh, I want to meet the dog. All right. Well, we've got a little couple of quests here, but I also want to continue cleaning up the farm. And we got Elios taken care of. Let's head down to the bottom of the farm here where we found that broken bridge and see if we can go ahead and repair it. How many logs did we give? I have no idea, but we've got plenty of planks, so we should be all right. Can we repair? Repair it. What's over here? Let's see. Let's close this so we can see. Ooh! Lots of gold, copper bars, sand dollars. Nice. Anything this direction? Oh, a whole nother area. <gasps> All right, cool. We get to be close to Peter's shop too. I love it. Oh, and the music has changed. That's fantastic. You must be the new arrival, huh? Hoi oh, there, I'm Peter. Did you come to cast a line? We'd be happy to join. You haven't got a rod. I'll tell you what, I'll let you take one of my old ones if I teach you how to use it. Here, give it a try. Cast your line. You feel a fish bite, you have a strong pull. Don't be fooled by small bites. Wait until a large bite to reel the fish in. Oh my goodness. Okay, fishing rod. Let's give this a try, guys. So he was just waiting for us to... That was a really cool water effect. Waiting for us to open the way so we could get a rod. Oh! Okay, so that was a, a click. A rare sea bass. Oh, <laughs> sea bass. They... <laughs> The sea bass will forever haunt us, guys. It's come from Animal Crossing. <laughs> hey, cheers, not bad for your first cast. Keep fishing and you'll have food on your table every night. Come on back to my shop here if you ever wanna upgrade that old rod. Well, thanks, Peter. Looks like there's a guy down here we can talk to, too. Oh, and there's another chest over there. Oh, so much to explore, guys. So much to explore. Let's clean up the beach here a little bit. Get some logs back. And Pod was wanting clams. So I think we've picked up two so far. Hi. Peaceful society starts with the citizens. Yes, yes indeed. Oh! Squirrel peppers. Okay, so there's, there's monsters out here. Okay, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready, guys. I feel like I still need some time to meet people. Rupert, eh, new to these docks, ain't ya? Never seen you before, at least. I'm the new farmer. Good to meet you, too. I'm Rupert, and I fish. You can fish, too. Plenty of fish to go around, but you won't actually catch near as many as me. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's been at it much longer than I have. I'm not that great of a fisher person myself, but my granddad, also taught me to fish with hot dogs for all of life. <laughs> so we used to pick up a pack of you know cheap hot dogs from the store and that would be our bait and, you know worms are gross <laughs> when you're a little girl at least all right looks like we've got some apples to pick and we're making some good progress on that I believe that the snackoon up there wanted apples. Let's go take a peek and see if we can go ahead and give those to him. I wonder what that's going to open up. Maybe another shortcut? He's having a grand old nap. One handsome fella. Ten apples. Okay, nine, ten, and then five wheat. Oh, I'm glad I saved eight. That's good. All right. And he's gone. We have paid the price. Oh, who's up here? West Forest Town Center. Oh, what are these? Blueberries on a tree. Interesting. Blueberries are usually on bushes. And we got some more apples. New music again. 
Somebody's got chickies and cows. Have we met you? That's Liam. Hey again. Sorry, it's Rosalind, right? It's been a while since somebody new moved in. No offense, but you look like you need a nap. That's only because I do. Sorry, I don't mean to complain. I'm just burning the candle at both ends. If it makes you feel better, you smell fantastic. <laughs> oh, must be the gingerbread. Hey, that's the upside to baking. I never thought about. Thanks. So he's obviously a baker, understood. So it seems like Lucia, Liam, and a character we haven't met yet lives up here above the farm. This might be Kitty's house. Yeah. She must be wandering around or she's in her home and we haven't met her yet, so we can't go in. All right, cool. Let's go back down here to our farm and take a look at this workbench and get our fish. Dorado. All right, what can we throw in here? Oh, I like that I can pull these back. You know what? I think I might just do that because we got to figure out how to make flour. So let's throw some of these in. I can take my clams back because we have that quest for pod. Oh, the fruit that we got. Let's sell the amethyst. Why not? see what that gets us. I feel like we're going to need the copper bar, so I'm going to keep that. What do you see, Bass? <laughs> this is great. I love it. Kind of like the Animal Crossing-esque. The descriptors are so, so cool. I love that little bit of humor. Crisp, sweet, and great at keeping the doctor away. <laughs> well, at this point, we might not want to keep the doctor away, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who's your favorite character so far? I, you know what? I'm leaning towards Warnheart. I think he's great. But though, we haven't gotten to talk to quite a lot of people. Let's see what we can make here. A cooking pot. That seems available. Grinder. Looks like we're going to make some more planks to get that. Okay. So let's do... Let's do ten more planks. And we'll wait for that stuff to get ready. We'll have to make some chests to start organizing our stuff as well. Oh, I love the little animations that go with the workbench. It chops logs on its own. All right, it's already 10 o'clock. Let's see, we're missing just one clam for pod. We're probably gonna do some more cleanup tomorrow on the farm. We got some fences from, who was it? Was it Bernard from the town center that gifted us those that we can put up? And oh, I wanted to figure out, yeah, it says wheat. It says can be turned into flour for people or turned into feed for your farm animals. Gotcha. So we might want to plant more wheat. Oh, our cooking station's already done. Very nice. Cooking pot. Oh, and it gives off light. How cool. Bread. Bread. We talked last episode about uh, how awesome fresh bread is. And I, I am on the fresh bread train now. Love fresh bread. All right. Well, it's already 10.50, so let's go ahead and head to bed for the night. And wake up and do it all again in the morning. All right. 120 gold into our pockets. All right. Stuff to water. Lots of planks for us to pick up. Yay! So let's go ahead and get to water in here. Looks like maybe a couple more days on our potatoes here. They still look a little green. And I'm thinking about going to the general store and, and putting some more seeds in the ground. And upgrading our watering can. Man, it does not hold a lot of water. But it is the first level watering can, so it's to be expected. I'll see how much a brand new one will be that's a little bit better in the shop. We'll have to check the farming store and the general store for those. Oh, looks like we just caught a fish, too. So we'll finish this up, grab our fish, pop that in the shipping bin, or shipping portal, rather. Stardew uh, is wearing off on me. Oh, more water. And then head into town to see if we can get some better gear. Let's drop by the general store first and see what they have. Emmett! Hello, Emmett! It looks like, can we shop from here? Ooh. Or are these like on sale? Buy all. Yeah. Potato seeds. Buy them all. So 
sock, a blue stocking, pet water bowl, ooh, coffee pot. Oh, he sells furniture, a purple pet house. Oh, how cool. I didn't even look at that stuff when I came in. Almost out of debt, you know. If I can do it, anyone can. That's the spirit, Emmett. That's the spirit. Ooh, looks like we can plant some lettuce. Rice? You had me at rice. <laughs> Carrot? Wow, a ton of stuff to plant. Ooh, beans. Ooh, onions. Green root are the ones that we've been picking up and have planted right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, and it looks like I've depleted all of our money. Oops. But at least we've got stuff to put in the ground. That's okay. So there went our dreams of a better watering can, but oh well. Maybe there's some quests up here on the board that might give us a little bit of cash. What do we need? He's lost a toolbox by the Wheatfield River. Return it to Giuseppe. Hmm, and then Anne wants a sapphire. Ooh. She's misplaced a specific sapphire. Near the blacksmith. Okay. Let's see if we can't go look for it. This seems a little bit of an easier quest. And he's down here and down the stairs. Hmm. I wonder we have to go into the mine to, the, to find her sapphire? Oh boy, it's got 50 levels. Oh. Should we be going in here by ourselves? There are many kinds of rocks, ores, and gems in the mine that become more valuable as you dig deeper. A rusty key hidden on this floor will unlock the next floor temporarily. You may craft a key at an anvil to unlock the next floor permanently. This floor requires a copper key. Ooh, I love the look at this, guys! Oh my gosh! This is so cool! I love it! So where do we find her sapphire? That's my question. Can I pick this up or smash it? Oh, smash it. What a smash. Oh, there's Froggy down here. Froggy. Broke. I'm assuming her sapphire, we, we see it. You know what I mean? Oh, the music's different. Oh, how cool. How cool is this? Oh, that's a frog statue. I didn't even realize that till just now. So we got different kinds of rocks down here. Ooh, and we just leveled up, too. Get some more copper ore. I wonder how much time we have for the sapphire. Two days. Oof. Oof. Looks like we have time for the flower quest and the seashell quest. Thank goodness. So I'm assuming as we clear out this level we would earn the key. Yep, we just got it. So how about we go to level two and insert a rusty key? Yeah. Get in the minecart. Let's check level two. Maybe, maybe her gemstone will be there. Ooh, there's a blue one. I don't know if that's hers, but we can sure look and see. Ooh, okay, we just got a sapphire. But is this the specific one? That's a water crystal. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, there's so many more things to learn, and I'm so excited. Iron ore. Love the look of all of this, guys. This is absolutely crazy how cool this is. For a game that's in early development, it's just, oh, it's beautiful, it's stunning. All right, let's head out of the mines for now and head back out. We've got some stuff to plant and I wanna get that in the ground because we're already on day five. Maybe we could talk to Solon about the missing sapphire. Oh, there's Lynn, hi Lynn. You're who's taking the land, huh? Thought you'd be bigger, oh, thanks. Thanks. So it looks like he sells some tools as well, but not at the watering can. Okay. Hi, Lynn. Well, hello, you're my 
my train buddy. Good to see a face I actually recognize. Where'd you say you're from? A little village in the east. I'm still learning to live the big city life like this. It's a lot to take in. If you think this is a big city, you're cl clueless. No, don't say that's rude. I'm adjusting too. You'll get used to it in no time. For now, I'm taking it slow and trying to explore a new part of Sunhaven every day. What do you do? I'm a blacksmith or apprentice. Solon is teaching me, but I've only just started to train with him. I hope to be as good as him one day. Huh, I'm sure become a master one day too. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Compliments always catch me by surprise. You're very nice, you know. Aw. Thanks, honey. Alright. Oh, we got skill points. Here I am walking around with skill points that need to be done. Mining. Let's do... Crafting any items also gives you six gold. I'm gonna go with that one. Because we seem to be short on gold still. <laughs> so anything that helps us get a little bit of extra gold, I'm gonna go for Oh, it says turn into Anne. So we just needed to go get one. Ah, all right. The quest made it seem like it was a specific one that we were trying to find for her. Oh, and Rex has a quest. What happened to my arm? I took a tumble. The cap fell off my head and the light went out. I got so flustered, I forgot my cap. My favorite mining cap. What does it look like? Green with a light on the front, but I think it's burned out. Sorry to hear about it. Maybe I'll find another like it. It was made for me by my grandmother. Nobody makes a cap like Mammy. Aww. I should have said that I, I'll, I'll look for it. Rex, I'll look for it. Uh, Rex, I'll look for it! Well, how about that? I'd be remarkably grateful if you did. Alright. We gotta find Anne. Where are you at, Anne? Actually, she's coming to us. Fantastic. Hey, girly girl. Hey, that's my sapphire. Thanks a bunch, Rosalind. Here's your payment Ad as advertised. Cool beans. You know what? I'm gonna do combat because we haven't we haven't done a lot of combat. Ooh, and we're at a full heart for Anne. Yay! All right, I swear I'm going back to the <laughs> I'm going back to the farm. We gotta get this stuff planted, guys. We are back and it's time to get some stuff in the ground. Let's see, we've got some potatoes, lettuce, rice, onions, peppers, and carrots, but I am all out of time for today. I'm gonna work hard and get those in the ground for us and watered, and then I'll catch you on the very next day in the next episode. Thanks for hanging out today. It was good to see ya. I'll see you next time. Bye.